Some critics say that CES is a waste of time, that it doesn't matter anymore because the major players such as Google, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and Samsung no longer have their big announcements there. Samsung was the only of the five to make any official appearance and CES hasn't had a big announcement since 2009's Palm Pre and WebOS. One place that CES shines is with highlighting smaller companies and one can argue that small companies innovate just as well, if not better, than the big ones. And this year was no exception. We had the Pebble Watch, NVIDIA's Grid, the Razer Edge, and the Cubex 3D printer as well as MakerBot 2. It's also a forum to show what is the next big thing, particularly in TVs. Last year it was OLED, the year before that it was 3D HD TVs, which are more or less a massive failure. This year it's 4K TVs. They have incredible resolution with roughly four times as high pixel density as 1080p. That said, you should not buy it. Critics across the board are saying that 4K TVs are the best images they've ever seen. They're particularly good up close. You could smoosh your greasy face against the screen and still see the image crystal clear, though smooshing your greasy face against the screen is not recommended. The picture is better than what most movie screens can provide you, but it's still incredibly impractical. For one, there's no content right now. BBC and NHK have some 4K content, some, and Sony is making a big push to film sports and films in 4K, but for now there isn't much. 4K video takes up an outrageous amount of space, about 10 terabytes for one full-length movie. One Blu-ray disc holds about one one-hundredth of that volume. Another problem with 4K is that America's internet infrastructure can't handle even close enough to 4K video demands. For instance, you'll need a 100 megabit per second connection to stream a compressed 4K video, not even full quality, and right now the average that Verizon Files produces, for instance, is about 25 megabits per second. The only place that could handle that right now is probably South Korea. Sony has a solution to that problem, sort of. You can buy a big machine, which is essentially a very high volume computer. It comes preloaded with 10 movies and shorts. I don't know what those movies are, but you better love them. Sony is saying they will update it to have more content after you've finished watching whatever those 10 movies are, though they were pretty vague about how you would get them as it would take about three days to download one movie. And the last problem with 4K the biggest problem, besides not being able to buy them just yet, is they're prohibitively expensive. They'll each cost tens of thousands of dollars to give you a point to look at. Sony's XBR 4K TV is listed for $25,000. So only expect the rich and crazy to buy one of those when they come out, whenever that is. Bottom line, 4K TVs look incredible. The best pictures we've ever seen. And they are way ahead of their time. And that's the problem.